So I pulled up the Mobile Burn website, our mobile version here in the browser, just so you can see it works pretty well. Load a page. Over Wi-Fi, everything's pretty quick. I'm using Wi-Fi just to make it easier for the demo purposes. You can see the signal's a little weak here in the area, so I don't want to rely on 3G for the video. Pull up the main website, and you'll start to see some of the limitations of the QVGA display resolution, though. Everything looks fine when it's fully zoomed, but it really gets to be hard to work with when you're zoomed out. Still, it's passable. Let me jump back out and I'll show you flash support here. We have an embedded video. A little difficult to control. Hi, this is Michael Worrell from OpenBurn.com. Once it gets started, seems to work okay. The frame rate will pick up a bit. Still not too impressive. But you can, of course, watch it on the built-in YouTube client. It'll work much better. Much better frame rate. You can see it's a much better viewing experience right here. I'm going to start off the camera with the keyboard shortcut right here down at the bottom. Not an autofocus camera. This is a fixed focus camera, so you basically just point and shoot. That's all there is to it. Go in the gallery. We can see what we've got in terms of photos here. Multi-touch support just like we have on the browser. Double tap intelligent zooming. Everything works pretty decently. It doesn't look too bad for a fixed focus camera, but it's not going to be real frame worthy stuff you shoot with this. can quick upload it. I already defined Picasa as the default uploading destination, so basically two taps on the screen and the photo has been uploaded to Picasa. Go back to the camera. We'll turn on camcorder mode. And now we're recording a quick video in CIF resolution. A little bit better than QVGA, but uh, not fantastic. and we should be able to play it back. So a good camera experience overall, even if uh, the resolution on the camera is a little bit lacking. And just so you can see how we're tied in with the Google Calendar. I'll tap on the calendar widget here and go into different views, month view, week. Uh, my personal favorite though is agenda. It's the easiest way to see what's going on in my opinion. You can have multiple calendars in here, uh, multiple public Google calendars as well as uh, exchange data, things like that. All works pretty easily. Here's a list of all the services that are supported by the device. You can add accounts from any of these quite easily. I'm going to add a, one of our test email accounts. We'll hit next. We'll configure the account and add it and hopefully pull down a few messages so you can see what it looks like. So here we are in our newly configured email account. Pull up one of the new messages. You can see uh, formatting support. Downloading a document right now. It's just a quick test Word document. Document viewing support built in. This happens to be in a, just an old uh, Samsung press release. See if there's multi-touch support. Doesn't appear to be. On screen only. But either way, you can still read Office documents quite easily. Email client looks pretty nice. Easily select multiple messages to delete them or whatever. 
you can see there's not too many on the screen at once. You're really only seeing two messages on the screen at once, but you can move them, delete them, whatever you like. It's not a bad email client. In terms of instant messaging, you've got a built-in client for AIM, Windows Live, and Yahoo. And, of course, there's also Google G Talk as well. Right there is Google Talk. Google Maps always on board. multi-touch zoom controlling and since it's a uh, 2.1 device there's also navigation navigate to Dairy Queen in Morrisville Pennsylvania it's not bad system for free you see there's even traffic data and everything else on Like T-Mobile's Motorola Click XT, the charm comes with Motorola's connected media player, which is really, really nice. It does a lot of cool things. Um, I synced uh, some music over from a Windows Media Player. I just want to show you some of the capabilities. For starters, notice that there's no album art here on this uh, Bauhaus album. It's going to start playing, but it's also going to start downloading content including the album, right over the internet connection. Plays lyrics. Go back and choose a different song. See the lyrics should be in sync this time. pretty cool and there's a lot of other functionality in it as well um, you can get to find YouTube videos uh, more than just lyrics there's a lot of things you can do in this you really gotta search around in the connected media player to learn all the things it's capable of doing but it's probably the best media player I've seen on Android so far so there you have it that is Motorola's charm for T-Mobile nice device it's only uh, 11 and a half millimeters thick or if you have the extended battery on like I do it's about 13 millimeters thick it also boosts the weight up to 126 grams from about 110 grams uh, really nice feel on the keyboard uh, the display is definitely the weak point uh, QVGA resolution and just not great colors or uh, viewing angle or anything like that but other than that the device is really top-notch uh, and considering it only costs $74.99 with a contract I'm pretty pleased so there you have it. That is the Motorola Charm for T-Mobile USA. And I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.